I did not think I was going to be making another Castlevania Netflix video until after the season got released, but here we are again. There's actually um some big news to share. Not too many, so this video is probably going to be really short, but the few details that we have are, are some, some big bombshells for Castlevania fans, so we're going to discuss those today. Let's start with the old news first. There is an official release date now, October 26th, so mark your calendars. And at first I was kind of upset, I was like, damn. I gotta wait another three months. But you know what? It's twice as long. Netflix seems confident about where the series is headed. So much that they greenlit a season three. So you know what? Take your time. Do it right. Fans like myself will wait patiently. Uh, and it comes out during Halloween season. So tis the season of Dracula. However, what I really wanted to discuss today was not the release date. I wanted to discuss the trailer. Now you might be thinking, I didn't see any trailer. Well, the trailer hasn't been officially released by Netflix to the public, but there is cell phone footage from Anime Expo this year of the trailer. So we're going to watch the trailer, and then we're going to discuss a couple things I picked out from it. Now clearly I wasn't there myself to film this, so I do have to give a credit to the YouTube channel The Nerdy Veggie. I'll post the link to the channel in the description. And here it is. So overall, the trailer is pretty short, right? Didn't really show a whole lot. If you really just hit play and watched it without pausing every single scene and analyzing everything like I did, it just looks like a random collection of action shots and monsters attacking people. But if you really take a deep look at the trailer, it leaves you with a couple questions like, who's this mystery hooded warrior with a sword? I have no idea, to be honest. I mean, it could be just some random soldier that gets killed in this very shot. So he could be a nobody, but I'm excited to find out. Let's go ahead and analyze three specific moments that I caught in the trailer that made me stop and think, hmm. Number one, this is likely the least probable thing that's going to happen, but I did notice this shot right here with this bald person jumping at someone. Could this be Grant? I know Warren Ellis, the writer, doesn't like the character at all, so I mean, there, there is a strong chance that we may not see Grant at all in the series, but I mean, come on, he, I've said this before many times, he's got to be in the series in some way. Here he is in the actual game during the boss fight. You know, he's some kind of bald ogre looking thing that hops around the screen. So I think there is a small chance that we may be seeing Grant in his monster form right here. What do you guys think? I'm not too confident about that piece of information, but who knows? Number two, this shot right here made me fanboy. Recognize what Trevor's holding right there? This is something I had no idea they were going to address at all in this series, and I thought it was going to be one of those video game things that don't make it into the adaptation. In the games, the vampire killer is a whip, and as you collect your upgrades, eventually that whip becomes a more powerful chained weapon. And there it is! I assume somebody helps him upgrade the whip versus picking up an icon from a broken candle, but holy shit, they did it in the series for sure. And number three, at the very, very beginning of the trailer, in a blanket and you'll miss it shot. As far as I'm concerned, this right here is 100,000% confirmation where the series is headed after Dracula is defeated by Trevor and the gang. We're getting Curse of Darkness and Hector. There is no doubt in my mind about this in any way, shape, or form. And this trailer is it's filled with evidence. Look how this person's dressed, and now look at Hector's Devil Forge Master uniform. This at least confirms that Dracula has Devil Forge Masters in this series. If you don't know what those are, think of them as generals of his armies. Users of dark magic that are loyal to him, for one reason or another. In the original Castlevania 3 that the series is based from, they did not exist. The concept of Devil Forge Masters was completely added in, in Curse of Darkness. And that kind of filled in the backstory from Castlevania 3 Dracula's Curse a bit more. And I think this shot right here is of another Devil Forge Master attacking innocent people. I could be wrong about this one, but what I do know 100% is that they're in here. Now this doesn't necessarily mean that we're going to get Hector in the Curse of Darkness storyline, does it? Well, behold! Remember in my timeline series when I spoke about a young boy with white hair that was run out of his village and eventually used dark powers to work for Dracula? Here's a shot of a young white-haired child appearing to bring an animal back to life. This is Hector. Hector is in Castlevania Netflix Season 2 for sure. 
I don't think this can be debated at all after this footage. I mean, clearly, there's no other possibility of this being a different character. I assume after this storyline, we're going to get another season, or a couple of seasons even, depicting the events of Curse of Darkness. I couldn't be any happier, because this is something I've discussed multiple times that I would love to see, and I always thought to myself, nah, they're not going to do that. They're not going to do the whole Hector thing. They are. There's no way they're not. It seems Netflix is really confident about the series and really moving forward with storylines beyond Trevor Belmont. So that was about it. I hope you guys enjoyed that little little batch of news. It made me even more excited for the series than I already am. So make sure October 26, you, you call out of work, do whatever you need to do. Watch that series because that is what I will be doing all day long. The next video I make on it will, will probably be the review unless... Some other crazy news comes out or a different trailer pops up. So, as always, leave your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments. I always love discussing these things with you guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave me a like and a comment down below letting me know. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also check out some of my other videos or click my Patreon link if you'd like to support GamerThumb TV. This is Fabian. I love you guys, and I'll see you next time.